The Frederick County Sheriff announcing today that he is getting back to work, and that's despite having been on self-imposed leave of absence since being federally indicted on gun charges last April. Let's get to Josh Rosenthal live for us in Frederick tonight with an update on this. Josh? Yeah, well, Sharon, we talked to the sheriff today. He said his leave of absence is over. However, give it a listen. It sounds like things here at the sheriff's office may not change all that much. I have no statement. Thank you. I have no statement. That was outside a federal court back in April. Now, Frederick County Sheriff Chuck Jenkins is saying this. I'm getting paid. I should be here doing my job. The announcement comes more than four months after the sheriff was indicted with federal prosecutors alleging Jenkins took part in a scheme to illegally acquire machine guns. A local gun shop owner was charged as well. Are you able to fulfill your duties as sheriff when you yourself have been charged with a crime, sir? Absolutely. I'm, I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? Correct? That's still the American way? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yes, I'm, I'm still the sheriff. I'm still fulfilling my obligations and carrying out the duties. In fact, the sheriff, who was forced to surrender his service weapon, told us he's already been back in the office pretty much every day. Just doing everything except running the day-to-day -day operations. So, yes, I've been doing my job. Some other elected officials are far from pleased. County Executive Jessica Fitzwater telling Fox 5 in a statement, Sheriff Jenkins' decision to take a leave of absence demonstrated an understanding of the seriousness of the charges against him. I'm disappointed that he's now gone back on his word. Councilmember Cavante Duckett also weighing in, saying in part, his leave of absence was neither a leave nor an absence. He made a mockery of the process. Confident that you'll be found not guilty? Very confident, yes, sir. For his part, Jenkins says the people want him back. There's a tremendous amount of public support for me in this county. What happens if, you, if you're found guilty of a crime? I'm, I'm not going to discuss the case. I will just maintain my innocence. The sheriff has some support among local elected officials as well tonight. Councilmember Mason Carter telling us he's more than happy to welcome the sheriff back.